And inside that trap is the key to a higher silver and gold price. You see, Jerome, he went for the easy money. And now he's trapped. Don't believe what these guys are saying. Look at the facts. Look at their track record. They're almost never right. Now we're going to have a soft landing. Well, I wonder what that's going to feel like. I mean, Oh my God, this situation is so screwed up. There is literally almost no way out. They are never going to get in front of inflation. Interest rates have got to remain negative. It's mathematically impossible for them to ever get ahead of the inflation. Thank you for joining me today in Ron's Basement. I'm glad you are here. You are always welcome in Ron's Basement where the economy is slowing quickly and inflation is soaring. What does that mean for the price of gold and silver? Well, a lot is going to depend on what the Federal Reserve does. But the Federal Reserve is trapped I'm going to explain that and a lot more to you here in the basement in this video. Let's get started right now. Let me explain this to you quickly with a brief illustration. This is Jerome Powell. This is monetary policy. See that easy money in there? Well, Jerome decides to go for that easy money and what happens? Oh, he's trapped. And inside that trap is the key to a higher silver and gold price. You see, Jerome, he went for the easy money. And now he's trapped. He's got to try to fight high inflation and deal with a slowing economy. But the problem, and this is the key, the problem is if he tries to fight inflation, that means tighter monetary policy that makes the slowing economy worse. That exacerbates the slowing economy. And then if he runs over to the other side of the trap and tries to deal with the slowing economy, he has to implement dovish easy money policy to stimulate the economy. But guess what? That makes the inflation worse. So then he runs back to the inflation and he's got to fight inflation with hawkish, tighter money policies. And that works a little bit, but then he's got to run back over to the slowing economy because that hawkish policy made the economy slow down even more. They are trapped. And the only way out is by devaluing the currency, which is going to be good for the price of precious metals. But let's look at both sides of the trap to make sure we aren't mistaken, to make sure that we do indeed have a situation where he is trapped. Let's look at the economy first. Is it really slowing? Well, I don't know. You know, look at the stock market. The Nasdaq's only down like 32% in the last six months. Look at retail sales. Look at Walmart. Look at Target. Both their stocks were down 30% or so last week because sales are slowing. New housing starts came out yesterday. They plummeted. New housing sales plummeted. Horrible news. These tech stocks like Snap came out yesterday and had to revise their estimates for the year that they just put out a few weeks ago. They cited quickly deteriorating conditions in the market. So yes, things are definitely slowing down in the economy. That side of the trap is definitely set. What about the other side of the trap? What about inflation? Do you think we have high inflation right now? Well, the official PMI numbers came out yesterday. They were much worse than expected. But hey, just take a trip to the gas station. Take a trip to the grocery store. Take a trip anywhere, a restaurant, and you're going to experience the fact that we have runaway type inflation going on right now. So that side of the trap is also set. So while Jerome and his co-workers at the Federal Reserve are over on the side of the trap fighting high inflation, right? By tightening money supply, by tightening up the economy, suddenly they're going to look to the other side and be like, 
oh my God, the economy's crashing. We got to deal with that now. And they'll pivot, reverse their monetary stance and run over to try to fix the economy because they don't want the economy to totally crash. Then they'll have nothing. And as they fight and try to get the economy back uh, on its feet with easy money policy, that will only exacerbate an already bad inflation problem. They are never going to get in front of inflation. Interest rates have got to remain negative. It's mathematically impossible for them to ever get ahead of the inflation problem. With the debt we have in this country and the debt that's in the world, it won't work. Mathematically will not work. And real interest rates that are negative are good for the price of silver and gold. Not to mention the fact that we've got major conflict and economic and geopolitical and uh, alliances shifting around the world. We have total chaos in the supply chain process. So the fact that the Fed's going to try to fight inflation with just monetary policy, well, that doesn't affect the, the, the fact that the supply of goods is going down. And that's a highly inflationary Factor. And if you, the one and only you, enjoy what you're hearing here, you could consider subscribing to my channel. I would appreciate that. Give the video a thumbs up, share it on social media, or leave a keen, insightful comment in the section below. Let's get back to the video. I mean, oh my God, this situation is so screwed up. There is literally almost no way out, right? And, and do we believe the Fed? Right. I mean, what have they told us in the past? Oh, the housing crisis is under control. Oh, inflation is just transitory. You know, don't believe what these guys are saying. Look at the facts. Look at their track record. They're almost never right. Now we're going to have a soft landing. Well, I wonder what that's going to feel like. I know what it's going to feel like. It's going to feel like higher prices for silver, gold, and the precious metal mining stocks. And we're going to enjoy it here in Ron's basement because there's going to be a flood of people coming into the silver, gold, and precious metal mining stock arena. Remember, 99 out of 100 financial planners hate gold and silver. If just one of that 99 comes to our side of the boat, that doubles the amount of interest in the sector. I'm glad you're here. This is not financial advice or relationship advice, or pet adoption advice, or anything like that. But you're always welcome to come back and join me in the basement where we talk about and navigate the choppy waters of investing in gold, silver, and precious metal mining stocks. Until next time, you be well. Thank you.